Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we are going to have a look at analytics without Google. This will kind of be a part two because I actually talked about a month ago about creating and self-hosting an open web analytics on your control panel for your own website. We did this because Google, of course, just this month has moved from the Universal Analytics tag to the Google Analytics 4, which is an absolute privacy nightmare. We did see companies such as Steam taking a move away from analytics altogether, and a few other companies have done the same. Now, there are a lot of places to get types of analytics, and we're going to talk a little bit about various options that you have, mostly and foremost, one thing to keep in mind is most of you have your website on some type of cPanel, and cPanel has several analytics uh, applications embedded within it. And we're going to actually look at a few of those, but we also want to look at what a month of open web analytics data looks like as well. So before we get moving too much further in this video, you can head on over to the website at switchtolinux.com slash support slash affiliates. And these are all affiliates that uh, if you use any of these affiliate links, they will help support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything more. And in some cases, you'll actually get a discount for using the affiliate code. Now, what I'm using today uh, is actually on my Linode servers. And uh, now I'm on my Linode, I'm hosting a cPanel. So any web hosting control panel with cPanel is going to be applied to anything that we do. I'm using Linode. I also use DigitalOcean for things like this. So tlm.li forward slash Linode or tlm dot li forward slash doh for those now if you do not want your cloud computing based software and you're just looking for basic web hosting a2 hosting siteground and in motion hosting are the three that i would recommend for hosting your website and those all will give you a cpanel option which is the basic default and cpanel itself as an option does actually have some integrated web statistics um, there's a few of them out there and they're not amazing, but if all you're looking for is basic raw data, they are going to do a pretty good job. Now, the big downside that you get with those is that inside of the applications there, um, they do not actually sort out bots and things. And that's actually something that open web analytics can do. So you will get better results about who's actually visiting your website that's not a robot on um, on open web analytics. But we are gonna go ahead and walk first through the cPanel options to show you what those look like. So we're just gonna go ahead and go um, maximized browser over here and just to make it more fun, we'll go ahead and hit the F11 key so it's simply uh, a full screen browser here just to walk through what we are doing. So on our C panel, and this is the new Jupiter theme, which is horrendously horrible, but uh, that's okay. C panel doesn't seem to give us a choice. Stay tuned for a future video about alternatives to C panel. Uh, but in the midst of it, it does actually function well, uh, the horrible UI aside. If you go down into your C panel, you will have your metrics. Now, it is possible that some control panels may not have all of the options. I know, for example, GoDaddy, which has control panel will remove things like the backup utilities because they want to upsell you backups. They'll remove things like the SSL certificate systems because they want to sell you SSLs despite in 2023, all those should be free. So it's possible some of these might be missing from your cPanels. My cPanel here, I buy the license directly from cPanel. And so this is your vanilla cPanel if you were to have a license. And to my knowledge, I know A2 hosting where I've hosted my clients for several years do have these metrics. And uh, I'm pretty sure all of the other control panels that are listed in my affiliates page will actually have those as well. So looking at these uh, analytics, there's a few of these that like bandwidth is going to tell you how much bandwidth is moving through your website. Um, it'll tell you kind of what IP addresses. So if it's like a bot or something, you can block it and things like that. There's analog statistics and visitors. They give you a lot of raw data about 
what's going on on your site. It's not all that useful because I'd say an, an upward of about 80% of visits to websites is bots. Unless you have a way to sort those out, you're going to get in a, inaccurate data. But let's go ahead and have a look at these guys. I pulled up three of these. This one here is called the web server statistics. And I think the web server is, it might be the, I think it's, uh, it's not the webalizer. I think it's, AW stats, maybe, or maybe it's the analog stats. Um, I forget which one's which in here. Um, but with this guy here, web server statistics, this is just looking at the website. It switched to Linux. So it basically says successful requests are 2.5 million requests. Refer to the seven-day period. Average successful request per day is just shy of 3,000 successful page requests um, for pages. And then average page requests per day. So you can kind of see it's, it's not pretty. It doesn't look super amazing, but there's what we have it. Of course, these are the reports so you can jump back and forth. So here's your monthly report. So this little dash represents 800 requests for the page. And I'll tell you that my website's not getting, you know, 30,000 page views per month. It used to, but it doesn't get quite as many. Now, this is 2021. This is 2022 and this is 2023. So you see a, a big drop here and I'm not sure exactly what uh, what caused a 50% drop uh, from December to January. Although I think if I'm not mistaken, that might be right around the time we rolled out the new site, which actually might mean we've lost a lot of bot traffic as they tried to scrape things that were uh, relevant to the old, um, uh, old WordPress site. I don't know for sure. Can't guarantee that one way or the other. Um, I, and what, for whatever reason, uh, in January, you'll notice that the web stats have dropped, you know, quite significantly. Uh, and I don't, again, I don't remember exactly when I rolled out that new site again. I'd have to go back and, uh, maybe look at the Wayback Machine to tell you for sure, but there you have it. Uh, here's February, here's March, April, May, and June. So you'll see that according to this, we had 13,000 page views in June. But again, that is mostly bots. Here's your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then here is your hour breakdown. So it will tell you, you know, what is the basic hour range where things come in and how uniform it is. It's that's the that's the bots. And then uh, over here, plotted by number of requests. So uh, organization 45. Here's other. So, um, and this is splitting out your, your percentage bytes. Now, this is one of the ones that's fairly useful because it's telling us where the people came from. And you'll notice that a lot of the site hits are coming from the site itself. These are people that are jumping on different pages on the site and coming back and forth. Um, so, uh, this is, this one right here is, somebody attempting to access the site for a login attempt on a WordPress site, which is no longer valid. Uh, and then this is one of the dangers of WordPress sites is if you've not disabled your registration, a bot says, Hey, let's just see if this site is WordPress and run an action on register. So if you don't lock your site down, you're going to get a lot of crap from that kind of stuff. Uh, these ones are me in my administrative end accessing things. But one of the things that I notice here is, um, we are actually getting a decent amount of hits on tutorials, and that's useful information. We'll get back to that in a bit. Here's failed reporters. Um, so what you'll see is that, yeah, this information is available. You can read through it and sort of figure out, but it's not something you really want to rely on. I think that one kind of sucks. Uh, this Actually, I think this one, let's go back. I'm pretty sure this one is the analog stats. I think that's what this one is here. Uh, so you'll see here that uh, here's our, our current month and then our unique visitors. This is telling me 3,000 unique visitors, uh, 7,000 total visitors, a total of 63,000 pages. Uh, and again, here's your bandwidth. Uh, so 3.1 gigabytes is taken out. Again, 80% of this is blocked. So 80% of the bot of the site traffic is bots. And you're going to find that on any website. Uh, day of the month, of course, this is just giving me uh, July. Can I go back and see June? Yeah, let me go back to June. We're going to be looking at June on everything else. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's your June uh, number of page visits, um, days of the month. And here's our averages. 
And then we have all that in a table form, number of visits and things like that. So these are, again, and here's your breakdown, United States, Brazil, Great Britain. It's probably, you know, we're probably not seeing a lot of bot traffic out of Australia and Morocco and things. Most of the bot traffic is probably United States. And I know, uh, I'm not sure if I have on this particular server, but usually I actually block Bing bots because for whatever reason, the bots jump on. Like Bing bots, for some reason, I have no idea why, but Microsoft Bing bots will get on a site and just keep on refreshing it. Like thousands and thousands and thousands of time a day. I've actually had server bandwidth transfer limits maxed out exclusively by Bing bots. So I actually started to block them. So I don't know if my sites perform as well on Bing search engines. I shouldn't didn't see any any Bing showing up. So it's possible I it's possible I am blocked on Microsoft searches. Maybe I should <laughs> loosen that up a little bit. I don't know. But you can see here um robot robots and spiders. So these are 70 different robots and spiders. For, you know, you can see how many page hits. So to actually get useful data out of this, I'd actually have to subtract all of these images out uh, just to see. Let's see, there's Google. So you'll actually see that uh, there's no Bing in here. So it leads me to believe that I have actually still successfully blocked Bing, Bing bots from my system. Not sure. Does my site show up on Bing search? Let me know. Um, Maybe that's the reason my site doesn't perform as well as it used to be. Is <laughs> the Windows users can't find switch to Linux. Great. All right. Uh, here's the file types. So the images. Uh, and this is the percentage of actual bandwidths, JavaScript files, uh, CSS, uh, HTML pages, things like that. And then here is your top pages, desktop environments. So... And it looks like uh, this is reporting everything, including every time you load the page, it's going to download the web fonts that we're using. So, again, it's not particularly useful data. Here's your main operating systems. Look at this. Windows, number one. Linux is number two. Liken to see that. Here's Android, unknown. Mac is down here. iOS. And then no BSD viewers. Oh, no. Very, hold on. Very few BSD viewers. 27 BSD viewers. And then Java mode, Beryllium OS. Okay, it's it's enough to actually have a few hits, although the per pages and the percentages are effectively zero. But apparently, we got some people over here on Beryllium OS. You know, we just did a uh, video on that one a little longer. Top browsers: here's Firefox, Google Chrome, and an unknown, and then uh, Android browser: Mozilla, Safari, Opera, uh, MS Internet Explorer. Okay, those are the third world country ones. I don't think anyone's using Internet Explorer in America anymore. All right, so uh, and then connected from sites. So this is where it comes from. Okay, so apparently 15 people did come here from Bing. All right, here's Start Page, Ecosia, Google Brazil, Google Norway, Yandex, Google Germany, uh, Yandex, uh, Google Finland, Google I India, Google France. So people are finding the site from utilizing mostly Google. And it looks like the number one search engine is actually UK Google. Number two is uh, YouTube. Number three is Google US. Unknown search engine, Brave, Ecosia. I don't know. Here's DuckDuckGo, ranks down here. Bing, Yanda. Okay, here's Ecosia. So it's certainly not Ecosia. And then, uh, so who knows? Maybe, maybe this unknown search engine is uh, Brave. I don't know. So you can see that we're getting a lot of information. And then coming from the external page, Rumble is showing up as number one. So Rumble apparently is being effective. Now, this is something I'm not actually seeing on um, Open Web Analytics, which is very interesting. Um, T.co, I don't know what that one is. Here's Gab. Of course, I have a I post my videos to Gab when they go out. BitChute. Um, apparently, people are trying to access my webmail. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Here's your locals pages. Think Life Media. So equal number of people are coming from locals to Think Life Media. This tells me maybe I should shore up and put effort back into Think Life Media again, which I didn't do for a while simply because um, I, I completely hate the platform we're using on there right now. Linux.org. Um, so of course I have a Linux. Uh, one of my videos is linked to Linux.org. Um, so here's uh, BitChute science category that's good and you can see what other things are down there 
And then here's some basic other information. Again, it's this one here gives me a little bit more useful information. It's easier to read, although, again, we have to parse out the number of bots. Uh, this one, I think, is Aweber. Uh, hold on. Let me go back to this. Uh, Web Webalizer. I think this one is Webalizer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you can click in, and uh, what I actually did here is here's your your landing page for the, your use. Yeah, this is Webalizer here, version two two three, and then this is what we see, and then here is your June twenty three. So see, already it's like I'm like this is very interesting. This one gives me the number of hits, and June is up here. Well, July we're only three days in July, and already it's telling me we have close to five thousand hits. Very interesting. Uh, but here is your stats for June. Here's your total hits, total file size, total pages, um, bandwidth transfer used, hits per hour, hits per day. And then here is just a little bit of information on these. Again, though, this one here does not sort out any bots or anything like that. And so it's it's hard to gather what type of data is being used. Here's your top URL. You're going to see it's mostly images because some of these images are loaded on every single page. And so it doesn't give me useful information about which pages you've landed on because it's logging these as most used. I mean, these are these are the icons that I have in the bottom, which I'm not using Font Awesome because I'm using a lot of alternative tech, which do not have icons in the Font Awesome. If, if, if there is a font out there with all the alt tech in it, let me know what it is. I'd love to integrate it, um, which would also be useful for a project I'm upcoming working on as well. Um, so here is uh, your um, kilobytes, basically you, your usage by how, how much data is transferred down and then top entry pages. So news 404s. So I need to look at my 404s over there and then here's your exit pages and then here's your top 30 total sites. No idea. No idea what any of these are except being, you know, bots. It looks like mostly bots we're getting over there. And then, again, the referrals, fairly useless information because it's all uh, tagging stuff back and forth within the site itself. Basically useless information. This would give us our user agents if you can read through this and understand that, you know, Mozilla, Windows on Gecko is Firefox. Uh, you'd have to read through this. It doesn't give us as, as pretty of a readout. We do get our country list, though, which is good. All right, so those are kind of the options that we have uh, inside of any control panel website. So if you're happy with those, you need just basic user information and you're willing to sort out the bots, that's useful. But the last thing I want to show you here is open web analytics. So this is what we did the full analysis of. We, we talked about installing it uh, last month, and then I wanted to let it run for a month and see what type of data that we get. Now, uh, the only other thing I did since we, um, since we set this up is I set up the uh, MaxMind country database. So that requires creating a free account at MaxMind, downloading the database, and simply dropping the file into one directory and then turning on the uh, turning on your settings. So if you head on down here to modules, you'll see MaxMind GOIP. Uh, it is activated. And then in order to do this, if you check the documentation and look for your MaxMind, it just tells you exactly where you create the file for that. And you just download a database file. It's like 65 megabytes. And then you upload that onto your server. And then, you know, once a month, once every other month, I can go on to uh, MaxMind to download a new copy and update it. Because what it's going to do is it's going to sort the countries and the cities based on the IP blocks. And as those change, you want to make sure that you get accurate information. So heading back over to reporting, you can see that, uh, 123, 189, and 76% bounce rate. Not horrible uh, statistics. And I think that this defaults to seven days right here. So I'll come in over here and you'll see that, yes, it's defaulting for just seven days. So since we want to see what did last month look like, we're just going to go down to June. So here is uh, where we are. I think this is about the date we started it, we launched it. So I'm pretty sure we pushed it live on the 6th. 
And then from there, this now, one of the options you have in your settings is you uh, are able to sort out known bots. And so this will strip all of the known bots. So in theory, everything I'm seeing here is actual real users. And so this gives us a lot more easy information. So if you want a separate self-hosted system that you can log in without accessing your cPanel and has something that doesn't look like it was spawned in 1998, this is actually a decent option. Here's your top refers for the last 30 days, YouTube, and then home and administration. These are links within itself. We can see BitChute is pretty high on the list. Uh, this is actually the software page, more YouTube, no, more tutorials. And then here's the affiliates. Here's Gab. So Gab ends up being one of my more useful traffic drivers. And then here's website traffic made easy. Not sure what that is. Maybe somebody else is watching my web traffic as well. Oh, breasted by facial recognition. I think this is one of my own posts. So this is my own post linking itself back. So uh, that is what we see over there. And then down here, of course, we see these individual users. Um, I don't think we can see any information there. I don't know. So, I mean, that's all the extent of information we can see, but um, so we, I can't see their IP address. All I can see is the uh, just the basic city. I can see the browser type is a Chromium based. And then I would be able to see any other pages that individual visitor happened to look at. I think this is one of my testers using a VPN. So you can actually narrow in like that, but I can also see the top pages. So 86 error pages. So I can look at that. A lot of people are accessing that live page to get those links. And then second highest main active content is tutorials. And then look at this. This is a tutorial. This is a tutorial. This is a tutorial. Tutorials are performing well. So I need to do more tutorials. This is what the analytics is telling me. And so I really do need to start doing that. Here's your overall top pages. And what you'll notice, tutorials, 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 tutorials. So there's a lot of them. And I only ported over, I think, 10 or 15 tutorials from the old site. And so I need to do a whole lot more of those. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think I have page type set. Um, entry pages. This is how people landed on the site. And this is how people left the site. As far as action tracking, I don't think I have that turned on. As far as your visitors, uh, hold on, let me go back to your main visitors. So here's your browser types. So more people are still using Chrome, although that probably will also include Chromium and other Chrome-based browsers is my guess, outside of if they do something super custom. Like I can see 19, number eight browser on my site is Edge. What is wrong with you people? I mean, that's okay. If you're over here on Edge learning, that's awesome. So you're welcome on over here. Firefox is pretty high on the list. So you can see that our stats are slightly skewed uh, in the in the fact that, um, you know, Firefox usually doesn't have that high on general webs. But since our whole site traffic is focused on FOSS software, it does make sense that Firefox moves up higher in the stats. All right. So these are the individual visitors by individual cities and such. Here's your geolocation. Now, you'll see that these not sets over here, the, uh, these 448 visitors, these were all in here before I added that uh, geo database, which I only uploaded the database, I think, one week ago. So uh, looking at this, now I can actually see and narrow in. So three visitors from Italy, three visitors from Brazil. Uh, must have been the guys checking on the uh, BROS that uh, we, we looked at, which is a Brazilian um, site there. If you click in on an individual country, you can see individual state breakdown. So California is my biggest. Pennsylvania is my second biggest. Virginia, uh, New York, and Texas are tied for third. And then it goes up. Here's Indiana. Here's Iowa. Here's Oregon. Uh, District of Columbia, Florida. So there you have it. We actually have a decent amount of statistics coming in for uh, individual states. And um, let's see your domains. These are the individual, like, um, I think this is like network domains people are working with. I've parsed out exactly what this is, but it looks like it's reporting back where you landed, like what type of network you were on. So 
this tells me that uh, of the ones that it can track them down, the number one and number two are some form of Verizon and some form of Comcast. Uh, SBC Global is Yahoo. Uh, of course, we have Google.com, AT&T.net. We have Cox.net, Amazon, AWS. Um, let's see. So there is what we see over there. Uh, visitor loyalty. So this is how many times people on the site. So if you have zero previous page views, 451 people had zero previous page views. Those are new visitors. So anything greater than that are returning visitors. We can see that there's uh, one person that has been here 10 previous times, um, you know, from looks like five to 10 different uh, times visiting had one extra visit there. So you can kind of see what those look like. And then visitors by age. This is not the age of the people. This is how long ago was the first time you visited. So number 16 here is 22 days. One visit from a person who was last here or first landed here 22 times. But that person had four pages per visit. And that's one unique person. Two people visited within 21 days. A total of 3.5 page views uh, as averaged out. So one of them, you know, three and one of them like four, I guess, to divide that by two. Here's your browser types. Chrome, Firefox, Chrome Mobile, Mobile Safari, Headless Chrome, Safari, Chrome Mobile Web View, Edge, Firefox Mobile, Other Opera, Yandex, Firefox iOS, Chrome iOS, Pale Moon. There you go. Got some Linux guys on here. Here's Edge Mobile. Edge Mobile makes it. Did somebody specifically install Edge on their... Wow. And then here's this. This is awesome. Look at this. More people visit my site using from Linux than from Windows. We are winning the fa the battle, folks. We are winning the battle. Uh, number three is Android. Number four, iOS. Number five is Mac OS. But Ubuntu itself gets its own thing. 11 people using Ubuntu. I need to rip on Ubuntu a little bit less. Uh, other and then um, Chrome OS. So of course, we know that one of those others was BROS, right? Uh, we actually saw that in one of the page statistics. So that was neat. Uh, and then here's traffic, uh, various search terms. I don't think I have that set up. I need to examine that, which is going to be in the documentation. If I click on documentation, I should be able to figure that out. Here's your basic search engines. Google is still number one. Brave comes in at number two. Then Yandex, uh, Google UK. Then DuckDuckGo, um, Yandex.com. First one was Yandex.ru. Uh, and then Google, uh, is that Finland? Google, is that Norway? And Google, I think that's India. So you can kind of see where people are getting here as far as search engines. And then here again is those referrals. We already looked at them. And I don't have campaigns set up. And this is giving me like ad types, but I have no earthly idea what any of these would be because I don't have any advertising set up or anything like that. Now, you also can set up goals, which I've not programmed any goals in yet, although I might experiment with that. But you can see well, Open Web Analytics is working well for me to see some basic data. I can see right out of the gate here that the first thing I might want to consider doing is definitely doing a little bit more tutorials, uh, which takes a little bit more time, but they actually do have a longer shelf life than some of the other content we do. So definitely doing more tutorials would be a, uh, a good benefit. So let me know any ideas you might have in the comments down there. And I will get to working and writing a few of those. Those require the extra uh, post being written about them, detailed explanations, and something else we're doing. Uh, we also know, uh, like, I need to probably, uh, I, in fact, it's on my list to write a whole article about all the Debian stuff we've been doing and how to access those videos and things like that. So uh, with those, though, we can see that you have analytics options. If you do not want to install something like Open Analytics on your cPanel, you probably already have those analytics, even if you've never looked at them. They're probably there. However, if you are looking to install something extra, the, our Open Web Analytics is installed on cPanel alongside my main website, and we have a whole video about how to set that up, so I'll go ahead and link that video here down below. With that, though, thank you for watching, everybody, and we will see you all next time. And have a look over the website, uh, switchtolinux.com slash support slash affiliates. Find your web hosting if you happen to need one of those. If you actually need somebody to help you build a site, go ahead and reach out to me. That is what I do when I'm not doing videos. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.
Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.